book of Revelation uh, can be very confusing, and there is a system to understanding it, the unfolding of bowls and trumpets and judgments. There's allegorical language, there's apocalyptical language, there's typological language, there's symbols, there's all kinds of things. And historically, people have viewed it differently, and there's a lot of debate about all those kind of things. But ultimately, what the book of Revelation about is Christ. It's the consummation of all things in Christ. And from the very beginning of the book, where John is confronted with the reality of the holiness and the glory of Christ and falls at his feet, to the very end of the book, where the entirety of creation recognizes the glory of Christ and falls at his feet. It's all about Christ. The little specifics the images, the interpretation of prophecy, and all those things that are in there are in there not just for biblical facts and for big giant tomes of prophetic interpretation, but because they're leading to a consummation of all things. You know, Revelation chapter 21 verse 5 talks about that very thing where all things will be fulfilled. So in many ways, the book of Revelation, in fact, specifically and almost explicitly, is the perfect conclusion to the original story. Because if you think about the end of the book of Revelation, it's about a new heavens and a new earth, right? Well, if you think of the beginning of the Bible, the book of Genesis, it's about a previous earth and an original heaven, so to speak, that was destroyed by us. So history flows along throughout the Bible until it gets to this still forward-looking reality in Revelation. It becomes this enormous gift to the church who now stand looking at the empty tomb and the cross and looking forward to the future that this will be fulfilled in Christ. So I know there's a lot of questions. Uh, I know there's a structure to it. I know that there's debate about it, but we can't lose sight of the fact that what it ultimately is about is God fulfilling what he said he would fulfill. And when you read the end of the book, it clearly is about Christ and the fulfillment of all things.